not in any kind of group. I don't want to be labeled. You know, what will people think if they find out that I'm part of that steeple vision over there? What will my job? I could lose my job. I could lose some of the online friends I got. I could lose some of these online promotions. What will people think if, if I speak for a group? I, I am a nothing. You realize how much of a zero I am? I choose to be on this side, man. Don't get in my personal bubble. You ain't invited, but here. I'll give you a uh, it's my snot rag. a look. <clears throat> but if you I will give you a, a, a piece go ahead. Yo, I will of this it. cracker and what some Dr. Pepper. You <clears throat> and you need that you rewind time. because I really the carbonation really did. Did I save you? mixes been an awesome scene. and For the next that's how creation was started by some food and we don't want our windows broken we don't want our banks we actually like banks we actually don't we actually like money we don't throw chairs we don't have childhood fits yeah you know going in the street covering your face i go into the street if, if you cover in your face that's right because you're a loser bitch See, that is what America is not about. We are not about protests. If you got protests, go to Canada, man. Go, go, go to somewhere where they actually like to protest. But here, you either... You, you got to follow the rules, man. A Judge Judy will be on your case. Judge Judy will be on your case because she will use you for ratings... She will use your own stupidity for her benefit. And if that's how you want to travel in the United States, then be my guest. But you won't last long with that kind of behavior. Mm -mm -mm. The United States is about money. Covered in the illusion of the American dream. God is on the dollar. So that is what we trust. We don't trust you. We trust the dollar. We will run you over if we could get five bucks. And that's what we've been trained. Money is everything. If you live in America and you just don't like money, yeah, go to Africa. Go to somewhere where they could use your expertise. There's a reason... Why lobbying with bags of cash to a politician is legal only in Washington, D.C. There's a reason for that. Because money talks. And you try to talk. Activist, activist, act. No, no, no. Sit down. Do you have a job? Do you own a house? Owning something is better than not. We're all about money in the United States. Money first. Everything else after that. You gotta have a job. If you ain't got one of those, you ain't gonna have a girl. No girl in America wants a dude without a car. A... Uh, probably muscles, probably a job, and this and that, and, uh, she, she, she ain't got none of those. But she wants someone who has already those. So, people in America are fucked up. 
and we're not going to let no straight person in from south, north, east, or west who has a straight mind, who can think with common sense. We don't want that. We don't want common sense. We think with laws. We think, how can this be done so I can't be sued? And if you ain't down that side of the table, you take a mental illness drugs. You live in that life. And that's a respectable life here in America. Oh, okay. So you're on that side. And we're all about sides here in America. If, you, if you're not on the side, fuck you. You better be on my side. In North Korea, they ain't got no sides. They ain't got money issues. They're all nice to each other. They leave their doors unlocked. We're the bullies. The sooner you figure out that America bullies the world into getting what we want, the sooner you understand that we own you. All it takes is a bag of cash. So. You can do what you want in America. But just make sure you're a goddamn legal alien. Because we are the one who drives the spaceships. You just fantasize you wish you had a spaceship. You fantasize you had all the debt we got. You fantasize you could be on the drugs we got. You fantasize, man. Too much. Why don't you fix your own country before you bring your dirty ass problems into ours? I think we should just... Take your fucking country. We got the arms, we got the power, and, you know, Donald Trump, I probably could make the deal. But he's being nice. We are tolerating you by putting up a wall. We're being nice by leaving you the fuck alone. By just putting up the wall peacefully. Y'all are the ones who ain't being peacefully. We can't eat at our dinner table without having to worry that our windows and doors are locked because some there might be some illegal alien ran outside who doesn't know English, who doesn't know the law, who doesn't know anything but what's in their own fucking head. Yeah, we don't want you here. Not at all. So, please... Get your American citizenship first. Yeah, it takes five years. We buy our weed legal. We don't need your dirty cocaine. We don't need you. And that's why we're putting up the wall, because we're just tired of it. And then, you know, if the wall doesn't work, maybe the gun issue with the conveyor belt and feeding the starving dolphins is a better idea. Because then at least lazy ass losers can be doing something good with their lives, like protecting the border from their television set, from their lazy boy. I would definitely vote for that video game to be made. Yes. Don't fuck with the USA. Innocent people being killed over your lack of self-discipline and liking what you have, but no, you gotta like what you don't have. See, the problem is not with us, it's with you. You need to learn what you like. Learn learn to love yourself. You can't help you with that. If you're already coming across the borders half mad and shit. Well, you know, donate yourself to the Starving Dolphin Fund. 
do that. I am the leader. You just trying to find someone to follow. When I load my ball, you load your ball. When I take a hit, you take a hit. You tick sucking? Or you just like my style? Because if you like my style, then that's cool. But if you're dick sucking, huh, you ain't gonna get no points. Shit, man. Because dick suckers can't freestyle. Huh. Dick suckers can't come up with a good story if they're live counted on it. You can, you can see a dick sucker a mile away. Like that's cute. Oh, hey, boss. Hey, can I get you some coffee? No. Can I get you a... Cause I mean, you got delays now. My voice is may not be matching up with my words because I, I did this, so we may have an issue there now. And, you know, the the list goes on until like any change you make affects. How can you be a straight ten out of the box? But if I really think about it, and the morphine affects it all. And you have to have these little tiny boxes to go in between these boxes just to do it, uh, you know, to be safe. So you don't hear it. So that current isn't flowing through your electrical wires. You use stuff like, like this. Let me plug it in here and see if it sounds any different. It usually does just a bit. It'll look cleaner. Yo, I was a bad person a lot. So this bad at thing right here. So you just make a why we're here. Make an insert. That's why we're here. All right, so let me listen to that now, and I should come in just a bit cleaner. Oh, man. Well, Maybe you won't notice. We recording real videos back yeah, I should come in clean. Wow, so that is a real good signal. Whew. I'm impressed. Wow. Yeah, that's almost coming better out of there than in here. Whew. I'm proud of that one. I'm very proud of this configuration, which is nothing. Nothing, man. This is straight. This is, this is just a straight line from here, here to there. That's it. No other shit in the middle. No other dials you got to worry about. Just one little box to here to here. And you got yourself a nice clean signal. I do like the box though. I do like the box. I was thinking about maybe getting. Maybe trying this. Not as the output. But for each line. These things are fairly cheap. They're like 50, 60 bucks on eBay. So. I mean, even if it's not good for there, it could be good for maybe my uh, main workstation, the HPZ 420, with 64 gigabytes of RAM. 
will heal. I'm, I'm impressed with how I sound at the moment. So, this thing's also got super bass. So I'm like, okay, I really sounded like a radio station. You know how they raised the, I think it was 160 hertz or something. So it was okay. So what if I lowered the overall bass down here and turn up over here? That's kind of what I was doing. <laughs> All right, so let's continue to smoke here. Ease my pain. So I ain't got to feel it. Ugh, may need another day off or something. That was Sorry, uh, uh, check out. But after I've been fiddling with the camera for the past hour and YouTube and waiting on prostitution because we got 47 this is give it a bad name 47 uh, beat cds masturbation that's four three three dot three this is number four of ten recalled in man we are boss because you show me the way baby will you show me the way Cause I'm lost Yeah Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our show It is another great weekend Another week has gone past And I must give tribute out to the fires in the west coast of USA. That's a sad sight, man. That's too bad, isn't it? Keep your strength up. It's tough living through a natural disaster, traumatizing, and you have to show the way. You have to be the strong one when you lose everything. You have to be the person to pick others up. Emotions are off the charts. It's too bad. All of those fires. Well, we wrote some notes last night. And I want to go over them. I'm going to show you the way. LGCD when studio titled CJ 00331 last chance sold out 433.3 show me the way I want to go over some of these notes I wrote last night and they're quotes that I live by every day there's a long list Quotes that define who I am and what makes me tick. We're going to go over these because I believe that these could be universal rules for yourself. You could use these here for your advantage. Um... People like nice people. Chris Track for Creative Wind Studios titled 
CJ00339 party supplies. People like nice people. It's easier. Like we, we go to a comedian show. All of us like to laugh, whether we want to admit it or not. If you're nice, Mariah Carey didn't get to where she is today because she's a mean person. Mariah Carey got to where she's at today because she's got, got smile on her face. She looks friendly and she has a positive mindset. It's all in the mind, man. Point number two. Perception is a side of truth. Each of us have, have the truth based on what we see, what we've learned over the years. And one thing to import, one thing to remember, it's important to never forget that it's always in the mind. So you can change as long as you, like you can change your current surroundings as long as you know it's in the mind. And if it's in the mind, you can control easily by smiling. It, it, it's, it's like mind control, you know? A smile can do a lot. Heck yes, it can. We were just saying about Mariah Carey and how she smiles a lot. It's all in the mind, you know? How do you negotiate a big deal that's worth millions of dollars? Is it really just signatures and paper? Or is there more negotiating skills to it? Sort of the same thing. You're negotiating with your emotions. Dream until you see it. You, you got to dream big. And I mean, don't dream outside of of the realities. Like I dreamt for 300 albums. I dreamt for a family someday and I am still dreaming and you build you build build on those dreams so you always have something and you let everyone know so you're you're constantly on the way you're showing them the way you want to go by reminding yourself reminding them and don't let the comments get you down comments are good but, but they don't make or break you. You should listen to the comments and again, use it in a respectful manner as criticism. So treat yourself and your life like a business plan. Treat your relationships like a business plan. If you do not have a plan in there, you have no rule sets and it's too easy to screw that up so even if it's the littlest things going through the drive through ordering food set yourself up some rules man it it's just good practice set goals long term and short so we've got we've got my 300 albums we've got our little goals the album with 50 tracks this month my goal is to get done CJ 0100 I'm sorry uh, CJ 021 it's a freestyle album so you set both goals long term and short term so we're talking about showing the way and I'm wrote a list down last night when I was sleeping about all of the things that that I believe each and every day I practice these rules to be the man I am upscale uh, I'm sorry upsell your personality so example you know um I go around telling people that I'm a jerk, that I am a, a loose cannon, 
you know, don't get me around snakes, I'll scream like a little girl. That is not upsell your personality. That is giving others, including yourself, reasons not not to like you. So if you're going to tell them your flaws, tell them later. Like, they will understand. People aren't scared of you. So upsell your personality. Tell everything that's great about you. Everything that is good. And you got to fake it till you make it and it does wonders when you start playing a game with yourself and be like man I'm the best ever alive do that for 30 minutes when you're alone and when you get done with that you feel wonderful you feel great so upsell your personality let others know you have empathy goes way up here Like, people like nice people. Could I see myself having a conversation with Mariah Carey at 4 a.m. with my wife? Sure I can. Because from a distance, it looks like she has empathy. Life is what you make of it. This this goes along with the lines. Um, It's all in the mind. Jersey Shore has has a bench and they sit there when they're drunk and they talk to a camera in their little recording space like I feel that maybe they shouldn't do it Uh, but I got plenty of positive quotes take one day at a time you can masturbate three but never four if you do you're gonna be sleeping on the floor Uh, put in drive not reverse Speed, the speed limit. I mean, it's just incredible. The amount of knowledge that I have because, I mean, we got broken back and there was all of those years, at least so many just like, well, you know, maybe we shouldn't move and just watch TV because it hurts to move. And then I watch shows like Secrets of War. That whole series, we watched that at least 15 times. No lie. Go look it up on YouTube. YouTube's much better than DirecTV or your shitty cable company because you ain't got to watch ads. You can replace your, you know, $500 cable bill with 13 bucks. And as long as you can work a remote control, then you can work a keyboard. And if you can work a keyboard, hopefully you can work your head and your head can tell the keyboard what you want to watch and you're not just force fed material because you're a, a baby. Eh, can't do it. I don't want to. I don't want to do it, man. I What it search for? You type it in. You type it in. <laughs> How many times have we heard that? from our wise elders. Ah, this world just just isn't the same anymore. Well, um, how about these video, educational videos that you used to watch? Like, oh yeah, I haven't seen this from the day that I saw it. They're having a good old time. Like, ha, 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 man. You know, then you get all the kids in here and they're like, damn, this shit's boring. You know, and they grab out their own gaming devices. And they're like, damn, you know, the world's just not the same. Well, you know, you're stupid and you came five years late to showing these kids what a real education is. But since they know this, you know that. Why are you talking, old man? But I'm listening. Rap pussycat. So, I mean, you could over sit over there and complain and look stupid because you just don't know <coughs> how many times you say that every day. Don't know. And each time you say that, add a stupid point. Not a cool point. How many cool points you earned today? How many brownie points? How many stupid points? I don't know. That is a stupid point. And a genius point is like 
20 albums with 50 tracks of peace. Overachiever status. We are past baller status. Like, like, I've already been balling in my mind since birth. That's all I need to do, man. I don't need to ball inside my mind and ball down the road. Because I'm here to do one thing, and that's create material. Since I ain't no seller or anything, I just let him sit up there until water seeps through the cracks. And then finally, you're like, holy fuck, who is this guy? And you're like, yo, Jim. And you're like, yo, Joe. Holy crap, this guy's from outer space. And then they realize that I was heaven sent. And then everyone will be jumping on my dick instead of yours. Problem is, I got a head start on you. So, I got no choice but to accept that life. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. If you make goals, you might complete them. Are these the kind of lyrics you got? Oh, listen to my gat. Because I deserve respect for being a gangster. Is that what your lyrics are? Look up my gat. Because I deserve respect. Because I'm a gangster, bitch. Gangster, bitch. Yeah. That's some hot shit, man. Now I understand what my grandpa says. H have you ever been to YouTube before? You should go to YouTube and check out old educational videos and watch, you know, how to be a human being. Learn lessons on what you what America wants from you. Cuz I don't believe this is it. Like I think you failed at the moment. And it's okay, like, we could still be friends in a few months. But right now you're a mentally... You would... You're not on my side, bro. You're not on the chill side. I hope you blow your dick off. Because you forgot to set the safety on your gat. Then, only then, would you be like, life is about love, life is about people, life, oh, life is so great, until you blow off your leg in an IDE, until you have some life-changing material happen to you. No one will stop you from being a gangster. Till you go to jail and then hit 50, then all of a sudden you're like, damn, I should be an activist and talk to these little kids. And be like, why you would to do this, man? Why, right? No one's, no one's going to tell you shit. So I'm not going to tell you shit. Give me 10 reasons you're worth it. Give me 10 reasons why a huge corporation with massive amounts of money would even want to spend their time promoting your dumb ass. We could say you did it to yourself, but that might hurt your feelings and you might have to accept that someday that shit is facts. Homie. Facts. That are needed. In this world. The only facts you got in your head. Is the shit you know. And how did that get there. Besides your peers. You ain't smart enough to figure out how to. Go to the library. So who told you? Because you're wrong. The majority of the shit in your head is tailored to, oh, you're from Iowa? Okay, so God, let's put the 
baby, so it grows to an Iowa baby. You're from uh, Africa, where it's a different world, so you're going to grow up with that knowledge. You're in India, you're in London. So let's just pause real quick. From your opinion, are you I have is with myself and with the things and people around me. It doesn't have to be huge, but as long as I can understand myself and believe what I say, then people like that. People look up to people who aren't ignorant. You know, they come up to friendly people, people like people who make them laugh, not make them sad. People enjoy listening to songs about, you know, fill in the blank type material and, wow, was this song made for me? They like that when they feel connected because there's so much goes on in this world that takes a disc and someone eventually some year hopefully it's soon uh, because hitting the limit of the pain management well we can't do anything else for you that's how my pain's been for at least five years we've been at the top limit that's that's what my pain scale's been can you figure that one out nurse practitioner delighted three times a day, eight milligrams takes all the pain away. Now think back to when you had a patient that you knew and they put me in their place. So I'm kind of suffering that same thing here going on for eight years. And I don't think it's fair. I don't think, you know, and then we got people out there trying to not give me all three I can't even get three I got two and some bullshit tram it all on new plan nine years and we're in a new plan man take it out tired of it take it out I don't care if I'll be in a wheelchair I don't care if I die at least we tried right trying to save him from relief tired of being in pain man tired of people calling me shit when I don't even deserve it, man. I'm ready to stand up on my two feet so I can start spitting lead for five days straight. I don't care. I'm going to do it when I have the strength. But I need mental strength. And that's all I got. Because physical, like it's been beat the F up, bro. Hooking up all this stuff, crawling under tables, carrying bricks, trying to figure stuff out, gluing it together tearing it apart oh man yo it's it's been done a number on me freestyling for eight hours straight yanking my body jerking it back and forth i mean i deserve what i get when it comes to self-punishment but i i i thought i didn't do too bad you know i didn't do out of the normal most people i see are like iron workers and they ain't got the same problems I do. So I'm hoping when they take all the hardware out, I'm brand new. I will be brand spanking new. And my pain dose can go down to a manageable level. I'm looking forward to feeling zero pain in a day when it comes to just continuous aches. Like, you're supposed to have some. Like, I get it, right? Oh, they say you're supposed to have some pain. I get it. Get it, but but not this. You're not supposed to have three Dilaudids. You're, You're not. That's why they say no. That's why I see, okay, since something needs to be done. If I can't have that, then we're going to take the shit out. I made an appointment with my orig- with one of my doctors to get a referral to have my hardware taken out. I actually made, I already, the process has started, homie. 
So will I become a better man or a piece of shit after that? Only God knows. Only God knows when I survive that who I will be. But I can tell you that I'll probably be a nicer guy. I'll probably be more humble. Uh, if I do make it through that, I will be more thankful for what I have and treat those around me with respect like I always have. I'm just mobile now so we can do stuff and have happy memories and, and all of that can be achieved. Um, sure, if God permits it. I went in through a spine surgery and I got this. Two of them. One to fix the first one. I think you can see my spine report on the album cover of CJ Zero. I think they're also on uh, Last FM. There. You can find them someplace. You can see the heart. Must be EQ'd a certain way, just like everything else. And so once I start to blend it, because my voice can wear on you. And, you know, how can I still do what I love to do? without exposing the wear on the vocal cords. How can I go about doing this without exposing reasons of why you should not listen? You know, and, and especially the world that I live in, you know, it's, it's almost like I live in this own dream by myself. Um, but because it feels like no one around me ever listens or pays attention, and so like no one never gives me advice, but like, yo, I heard your last thing. And you know, there's a certain peace to that, but then there's a certain frustration to that. It's like you just got done putting together a beautiful water paint that took you three hours and you hung it up on the fridge you know, two months ago. And no one said a damn thing. It's been right there in front of everyone's face. You, your friends, your family. You know, you'd be having parties. They'd be coming by. But no one says a damn thing. What is this shit? You know, I find that incredible. But also to validate... the belief that you know maybe 2005 near death experience wasn't just an experience it seems how what I notice you know I could be down here for hours doing this creating some beautiful stuff from my opinion and yeah I'm just doing it you know um no one brings it up it's like, yeah, there is a piece, because I could actually do it. Yo, I got my wish. We ain't done rapping yet. Cool. All right. Yeah, as Jesus says, settle down, everyone. I, I command you to only see, look the other direction when he does his thing, and only see him as a beautiful person as he is, because it's an actor, and you ain't supposed to ever take the stuff he says serious, which is all true. It helps you to uh, mortalize me and the characters and since this is all what anyone ever sees it's really not about me uh but that's all everyone knows is me um but sometimes you know they get five minutes of of who this character is mixed in and after you know a mixed bowl of scrambled eggs it uh can get hazy to look at and now i start look straight